What are you doing here? Ejecto Cito, baby! Ejecto Cito, cuz! I got to hack up the truck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you got here? What do you got here? Timmy's back. He's back on the channel. Come by, cruising by. He said he wants some accessories added to his truck. What do we got, Timmy? What is this? Switch Eight Pro. switch panel. Power system with RGB for our Switch Pros. Damn, dude, this is a lot of fucking wiring, bro. So this is the Switch Pros. It's got no buttons on them, dude. Where are the buttons at? Oh yeah, they click. But um, it looks like you add whatever you want. Bam. So today we're gonna install this, at least partially. And then we'll have open slots so we can add whatever we want. Cause uh, you bought a train horn, didn't you? We got a train horn on the way. Damn, Horn Blasters train horn is on the way. And I think uh, Timmy's got some rock lights that we're gonna take out today. Probably won't install them, but we'll maybe, you know, start planning it out. Get all this wiring going. It's a lot of stuff, dude. Yeah. All right, today, Timmy wants to install the Switch Pros on his center console. So he can have his horn, his lights, light bar, rock lights, all that good stuff. Maybe turn on this compressor. We don't know yet, but it's gonna be pretty cool. And stay tuned for that. All right, Timmy, step one. Let's fucking turn this thing off. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm not a very gentle person, dog. I fucking rip this thing out. Don't worry. I break it. I pay for it. Oh man, look at all this fucking wiring. I think the first step is we're gonna take this off, and then that way we can kind of figure out where that's gonna go. Maybe cut it off. You bought the Dremel, right? I brought the Dremel. You bought the Dremel. All right, and then from there. Oh shit. I didn't see nothing. Get it back, get it back. Gotta unplug all these little plugs here. Damn. This is your best friend right here. Or your enemy, worst enemy. We'll probably run the wiring that way. Then towards the knee bolster and then to the firewall. We're gonna have to read the instructions. Figure out what the hell we're doing. Alright, Timmy's so gonna get the Dremel. We're gonna figure this out, man. We're gonna figure this out. There's a lot of wiring to do. I think first and foremost, this is the main guy. This is what we gotta figure out. This is what we wanna do. Screw holes there. And then boom. So I think I'll take the outlets first and then figure out how this thing mounts. All right, so check it out. I got the outlets out. And then it looks like right here, if you grab your switch right side up, you kind of run through the holes. Wrong one. Right there, it's kind of where we want it. It's kind of a little off center, so we want to push it that way. It looks like the wiring's gonna hit. So all we really gotta do is take your little die grinder. This is like a little sanding wheel. And then right here, we'll just cut it, rub it out. <laughs> what a, what a <laughs> <laughs> we'll rub it out. And we'll, um, that way the wires don't hit and we can move it and center it. So it'd be fairly easy. It comes with, it comes with these little silver brackets. And um, those brackets just go to the back and it'll screw on. It looks actually really easy. Like, what is this fucking honky yonky? Yeah. yeah. So I went a little crazy, cut it a little bit too much, but it don't matter. The switch will cover it all up. So we just plug that in right there. Bam. Pretty centered, right? That cool? All right. Now that we found out where we want to um, mount our switch. Depending on your vehicle, is gonna be different, obviously. This is how uh, we decided to mount Timmy's uh, Switch. I think it's pretty badass. We got this idea from, uh, was it from the Switch Pro's uh, Instagram or was it from someone else? It was from Off-Road Warehouse. Off-Road Warehouse. They did it like this and it's a bitchin' idea, why not? He don't even use his cigarette lighters. He just uses his USBs, which are somewhere around here, there they are. Um, so next step would be, this is pretty much just the controls. This does not actually output to any uh, any of the relays or any of the light bars or anything that's gonna control. That's gonna be done by the module that's there. That's like a power distribution block. And this guy communicates to this guy somehow on some type of serial data circuit, I'm sure. Um, and then that they hook up to each other via this long wire. So they give you enough wire so you can run the switch inside and then run it through your firewall and then outside where that guy's gonna be. So I think first step was we'll, uh, we'll put this all in the truck. We'll run it, we'll zip tie it. Don't be too hard. Just do it to me. This is fucking guy's truck. First of all, his tunnel cover don't work. It's stuck. It's fucking broken. And then look at this shit. They're fucking over here grinding this shit. Dude, they bone you. They give you all the fucking defective parts. Everything's fucking defective. We're gonna run the switch. 
on these trucks is fairly easy. Damn, we wouldn't solve this light bar switch. It looked like shit. <laughs> oh, that was me. It was last second. What's going on? So we'll run the switch. Wire right here. Take the arc. Turn it this way. Stick my hand into the other side. And there she is. So this install part of it is going to be pretty easy as far as the switch goes. So we'll just plug our switch in. Oh, dude. I did it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got it right this time. Woo! I oh, fucking hope so. That should fucking hurt my back, bro. All right, you just connect these. No big deal. Those are easy. We'll just have to plug everything back in and we'll put this back where it goes. And pretty easy as far as that. The uh, 12 volt outlets, if you took them out like we did on this uh, Chevy Serato 1500 to 3500. This is a big daddy 3500, by the way. Um, we're not using them more and there's no fear of. Uh, them shorting out anywhere, they're deep in the connectors, they're not touching each other. Plus, all this is plastic, they're not gonna short out to you. If you feel more comfortable, put some electrical tape. If not, just leave them because that's what we're gonna do. And Timmy, that's what I'm doing. So, don't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll plug this in right here. This is for USB. I told you you were gonna do the work, I said, I was gonna help you. And I fucking <laughs> turned out doing all the work. I'm a fucking cameraman around here, right, Freaky? Okay. Bam, we got the switch installed. And that's where the switch is going to be. So you still have access to your USBs, your 110. And Timmy's got his uh, volume controls for his subs. But it's going to be dope, dude. Hit the horn. Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> Hit the light bar. Blind some fool. Get your ass, dude. And then over here, you know, turn on your tank for your compressor. Over here, ejecto cedo, bitch. <laughs> what did that fool say? Ejecto cedo, baby. Psh. Ejecto cedo, cuz. So it's gonna be dope. We're gonna wire to the firewall, which is gonna be a pain in the butt. Cause we just realized this thing's freaking huge. And now that I think about it, we should have put used the skinnier side to run it to the firewall. And then plug it in. Now we disconnect the battery. So we could disconnect all this crap over here. We got a knock sensor module and another module against here. I think it's a fuel injector module. I'm not sure. But I do know what they're important. And when they set codes, we're not gonna be able to clear them unless we have a my scan tool, which is it's at work, I don't have it here. So, just to plug the, disconnect both batteries, just the ground side, then we can disconnect everything. And now we gain access to this big grommet we have, we have here. We ran wires last time for his light bar, and since we're not gonna use the light bar wiring going inside the car, we're gonna use the Switch Pros. We cut it off, and we're gonna use it. We're gonna tape them together, and hopefully pull them through. If not, we have to hack up the truck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was not scared. Put my truck off. <laughs> Timmy's got the fucking nice truck, dog. Let me tell you something. I got a nice 1500. He's copying all my shit. So this is gonna be nice. Copy, motherfucker. All right, this is the wire from the old lights, the old switches. We had hidden down here. We don't like that shit. So now we're gonna pull them. And look at that. Just like that. That's what I'm talking about, dude. We got the wire over here, Timmy. All right, we're gonna hook this up to there. Zip tie all the wiring, not too hard. Then we'll focus on that uh, power distribution block or module or whatever it is. Timmy says it's Bluetooth. Bluetooth. I don't see no Bluetooth signs or nothing, so I think he's lying. I, I don't care if there's an app. I said, maybe you got the non-Bluetooth option. Switch Pros, man, they got an app and everything. All right, we'll see, we'll see. So find a suitable spot for this uh, power distribution block. This is the connector we ran to the inside. They give you a lot of wire, so we just have to wrap it up. Um, so this is where we're gonna mount it. These 6.6s don't got a lot of room. How much is this shit? $500. $500. Remember kids, don't be Timmy. <laughs> Anyways, it's super legit. But... So we're gonna mount that right there. I hope we get a lot of likes and we can get a fucking sponsored by Switch Pro for the Can-Am. Yeah, it? man, we got an X3 right there. We're trying to get some uh, for that. What's up, Switch Pro? Up. Recording this. Hey, so check it out. We got the Switch Pro's uh, distribution block here. We got the power running to the uh, positive cable on this battery on the driver's side on this diesel 6.6. And then right here is a switch that goes from the uh, switch we install inside. So this is the plug. We got a lot of access wire. We're gonna zip tie it down there somewhere. And this is just gonna plug in. Why is this hot? Oh, it's resting on the engine. This is gonna plug in right here. Bam, just like that. Rat it down. And then all the wiring coming out of this guy 
cooked in here. This is the only place we found room for it. Um, it's still accessible. You could disconnect both connections and you should be able to get your battery out. Plus, Timmy's just gonna make me fucking do it. And then, um, this goes right here, like so. Bam, just like that. So all this wiring, we're gonna route it probably this way. Both like that, we'll zip tie it, and then we'll go to whatever we want. Two of these right here. One's for the ambers on the light bar. The other one is for the actual big, bright white light on the on the light bar, rigid light bar that he has in front. And then the black wire is gonna be for the ground. I go around. So this connector goes into the main 12 volt distribution box. You need a ground wire. That's assuming for, I'm assuming it's to provide ground for the brain box. Um, we're gonna use red and brown for switches one and two on the switch. So we're gonna have, since we're wiring up Timmy's light bar in front, the rigid light bar, the red is gonna be for the the main high intensity light. The brown wire is gonna be, this is brown, right? Yeah, the brown wire is gonna be for the amber. <laughs> I'm doing something right now. All right, and then the last two wires, all these, we're not gonna use them. They're gonna be for future stuff, like the rock lights, like Timmy's train horn, uh, on and off with the compressor. And then these uh, two trigger wires right here are for the backlighting. So I think the white one is for, damn, I forgot what it was. Okay, the blue one is for ignition. So when the car turns on the ignition, it receives backlighting at 70% brightness. And I think that's programmable. And the white wire is another trigger for the backlighting. This will go to your park lights. When your vehicle's in the dark, the park lights turn on automatically and the backlighting will change to a dimmer setting. I think it says something like 30% where it's programmable. So that's cool that it changes the backlighting. You don't want it at full brightness backlighting while you're driving at night because it's gonna be annoying. This is gonna go to ground to the battery. The other two wires are the red and brown. One's for the amber, one's for the main uh, high intensity light for the light bar. So that's gonna look cool. So now all we gotta do is run these wires this way, and we gotta run these two wires. The other wires are gonna be for uh, add-ons that we do in the future. The, all the other stuff is already hooked up. The main power is already hooked up on the junction block. This is a distribution block. The connection between the distribution block and the Switch Pro switch is already good. I'm gonna just hook this up, and provide two grounds, and we should be able to uh, fire it up. The backlighting might not work. We'll have to run the backlighting, but look cool. We just gotta torch this over here. Boom, there's the ground. Put the battery back on. Bust out the app, Timmy. We're gonna run this shit. There's the light bar. I think switch one is amber. Boom, there's amber. Boom, there's a freaking intensity light. Woo! Ooh, that's dope, dude. Let's see. Let's see this shit. Let's see one more time. Switch one. Switch two. Oh shit. That's dope, dude. That's <laughs> dope. This guy can blind people while the car's sitting there. Hit the horn while people are sitting there. That's gonna be fucking bad. That's gonna be dope when the when the horn's hitting and you guys just park. Oh my god, I got time to do this. No, the horn's not on yet, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> so Timmy's gonna be able to use his horn from his phone with the car, with the truck, not even on. The key not even in the ignition, the keys in, is gonna be in his pocket. He's gonna be able to hit the horn. We think, because we don't know if these are momentary switches, if we get programmed to be momentary. We're gonna look it up, and then we're gonna freaking uh, find out. But this is gonna be pretty damn dope. So check out all the future videos on the Monster 3500. We got the light bar in, the switch pros is in. Be on the lookout for the horn video. We got LED lights coming to the door handles, just like our truck. Who's that? Hey. Who the what fuck? The what the fuck? What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, he came what out the, of the hell? Cave. He came out of the cave, I said. <laughs> if we left the car running, it's about to leave, look at him. <laughs> Don't lie either. What are you doing here? Show your brother, show your brother. Check out, well, you finished already. You're fucking whack ass food really late. Oh, check this out, check this out. With his, at, with his phone, fool. With his phone. Hey, did you 
fuck old lady nicer? Bro. <laughs> Because <laughs> if she's nothing like my lady, so you're gonna be in trouble when you get home. <laughs> no dark house, no dark house. Fuck my mother. Hey, homie, I got a toy holder you can sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. So we're uh, running, uh, we're trying to find an ignition source. I got the schematics up for this vehicle. Um, right here, he's got P39, it's for PTO. This truck doesn't have PTO, so we're gonna use that fuse, assuming that wire exists. So we're gonna look for X2, M8. So, this is all stuff you're not gonna have access to if you're out there. But hey man, we'll figure it out here. Amber's on. Bam. Light bar's on. Hell yeah. What do you think, Timmy? Fucking dude, man. You get it out. You're spoiled. You get all the good shit. Now all you just gotta do is add the uh, labels, right? Labels. And if we turn off the park lights, that would be normal in the day. That's how bright they are. When the park lights turn on, they dim. So it's pretty dope that they do that. And every time you hit the switch, it lights up and tells you they're on. You could also program them to be momentary. We saw settings for strobe. We don't know how to use this shit yet, but pretty dope. So next up, we'll wire up the rock lights for another video. So make sure if you want to check that out, subscribe to the channel. Right, Timmy? Subscribe, right, Hell yeah. More videos uh, soon to come on the Monster fucking 3500. See you guys. That shit look fucking hard. And these are the X-Brite version. This fucking changed the color of backlighting to match the truck. So whatever backlight you got, it matches. That's fucking dope. Switch Pros, baby. Badass. <laughs> Damn, Timmy. This is fucking tight, dog. You see? This is badass, dude.